and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting case that came in of a gentleman who has a recurrent herpes infection of his eye. And so we'll go over first a little bit about uh, what herpes does in the eye typically and then we'll discuss the more uh, or the less common type of where it's recurrent uh, and causes damage to the eye uh, more extensively than just the one-time occurrence of the superficial infection. So the cornea, the clear part of the eye that covers over your pupil and iris, that part of your eye is typically what gets infected with the virus. And so um, it has a typical a pattern and it's most commonly caused by herpes type 1, though on a rare occasion you could get type 2, and actually herpes zoster or shingles has a still different look typically in the eye, but can look sometimes a little bit similar. And so you have this dendritic pattern, so it's called dendritic uh, superficial, keratitis, superficial keratitis. And this dendritic keratitis looks like a river with a little tributary, so it has this typical appearance in most cases. And that's how we diagnose that it's a herpes infection in the eye. And typically we treat that with antivirals, and in most cases that takes care of it, and uh, people do very well. And so maybe one-third or 40% one, or of patients or so have a one-time occurrence of a herpes infection in their eye and it never happens again. Um, and it stays in the superficial layer. So your cornea has several layers. There's an outer epithelium, then there's a basement membrane called Bowman's membrane, then there's a stroma, then there's another layer, and finally the endothelium, the inside lining. And so um, Typically speaking, in the regular herpes infection, it only infects the superficial epithelium, not the deeper layers. Uh, but if it, typically, if you have this recurrence, though, then it can then get into the deeper layers, and we'll go over that. So the typical case is you come in, they have a dendritic uh, lesion on their cornea, you treat them with antivirals that typically then does well and goes away. Uh, but um, you can get a recurrence of this. It's like people get cold sores sometimes frequently. This can happen in the eye too. Uh, and maybe in another 30% or 40% um, have a second episode in their lifetime and then and that's all. But then there are other people who have it just recurrent after recurrent just like getting a cold sore multiple times. The more times you have this happen then it tends to happen that the infection gets into the deeper stromal layers of the cornea and then it starts scarring then it starts star scarring the cornea and depending on where it's located in the cornea if it's off to the peripheral part of your cornea then you may not get any visual symptoms but if this if this lesion is happening right in your pupil area then as this scarring occurs to your cornea and the stroma then you do start losing vision so some people can have significant vision loss from herpes infections of their eye. And so when it gets to the deeper layer, now instead of dendritic, we're now talking discoform uh, herpes keratitis. And so that's treated with actually steroids. So you still have to be on antivirals, but at the, then we add steroids to it. Once the epithelium is healed in, and now we just have stromal activity, then we put people on steroids to calm that down. One thing that can happen is if someone is placed on steroids and they have a history of herpes infections in their eye, then that can actually cause a herpes infection to pop out. So someone who has a history of a um, herpes infection in their eye, you don't want to use the steroids in their eye uh, unless you have to. If they have some condition, you have to treat it. But when you do, you need to add the antivirals on top of that. So that way you can protect them from getting a recurrence of the herpes infection. So the gentleman that came in, we're treating him with uh, antiviral medication in his eye and also uh, we're getting ready to start him on, since the epithelium is healed in, on steroids to try to calm the stromal deeper layers down. If someone gets recurrent infections of their eye, then the next thing is, is a lot of times we put these people on systemic antivirals that you see advertised on TV sometimes uh, and that is done and hope and hopefully so people don't keep getting recurrences in their eye because you can end up having vision loss. 
So if you have any questions about a herpes infection in your eye or any other problems, you can always contact us uh, through the website. If not, may, grant you, may God grant you with healthy eyes and great vision.